previously on Homesteady. This is a surge bucket milker. This is the one that came with my surge pump. I also have to see if it works. So I'm gonna plug in the pump and see. I'll plug it in. Working now. No, it wasn't working before I rebuilt it. So whatever we did in there <laughs> has worked. I was not expecting that to work, but it worked great and I really like it. I really like having these as options. I like being able to hand milk. I like being able to machine milk. I like having a cow who can do both. And I like knowing that if anything happens to me, Asa needs to step in, she'll get milked out really well. Pulsator. Mm -hmm. Besides that, the little silver thing. Black hat. Little black rubber. I'm proud. I mean, it's pretty. <laughs> so, we talked about how having a milk machine is good, so that if you're sick and someone has to milk for you, it's easier. Well, we will find out if it's indeed easier or not tonight. Because Kay's sick and I'm milking. feel a little intimidated. The machine is currently not together. It's in pieces. Because it's, it's clean, being cleaned, so. All right, let's see if I can put this machine together. This should be fun. This will be fun. Get a milk cow, they said. It'll be fun, they said. All right, pulsator. That little guy that must go in. I have no idea how to put this thing together, so I'm gonna see if Kay can help me. Right. So you just undo one undo from the here. Middle ones. Okay. Like that? Um, okay. No, her butt. Yeah. Towards her butt. Yeah. That's exactly what I'm picturing. These go on the back ones near her butt. These two middle ones go on the front ones. Right. Probably should have done this before she was sick. I that would have been a smart that. thing to do. Learning with someone next to you to teach you versus okay. diving in. A little different, but you know, trial by fire is always good too. Uh, this goes on to that. Yeah. And that's that. Yeah. That's good. Back in good section, just push down on the lid. The lid. You I think I have a little paper. Huh? I think I have a little paper. What for? To wipe off the iodine. To wipe off what? I can just grab it like that now. That stays on. That guy right there. Okay, let's do this.
All right, we got everything outside. Uh, Kay helped me put the milker together. I'm gonna get everything set up first because once Ladybug comes in, it's like she doesn't want to wait around. She she knows what needs to happen and she's gonna want to go. So I'm gonna get everything set up here, ready, hooked up, and then hopefully she'll be there outside those doors waiting for me. Not sure if she will, I'm hoping she will. So see how this goes. Now Kay is mixing corn, oats, and barley with some sunflower seeds. And I just realized I didn't ask Kay how much. So first call of the night. We're gonna use up our phone a friend here. Once we use this one up, then we're gonna have to ask the audience. So get ready in the comments below. All right, so how much feed and what do you give her? Full pink scoops, like to the top. I used up my phone a friend. Next, I got to ask the audience. Right. <laughs> yes, that was for the camera. All right, I'm off. Two scoops. I think I'm, everything's set up. I'm gonna turn the machine on now. And then I'm gonna go get Ladybug and hope that she's just ready to rock here. Okay, it's running. That's pulsating. I turned the air on, we got good pressure. Let's go get our cow. Hopefully she'll be ready for me. Cows do not like their routine messed up. Any difference in routine, wonderful. They're waiting for me, that was nice. Hi girls. I know it's a little different tonight, but it's still gonna be good. Cows do not like changes in their routine. Something as small as me wearing a different hat sometimes would make Ladybug like weary about what's going on. So right now, the fact that it's me here and not Kay, it's probably got her like a little bit on edge. But the nice thing is she hears the milk machine. Oftentimes I am around at milking time, even if it's not just me. So uh, I don't think we'll have too much of a problem getting her in. She should know where to go and what to do. And then it will just be a matter Seeing if I keep work the machine right. Let's go, girls. Look at that. Look at that well trained cow. She's going right in. This could be great. Oh, 
Come here, bud. It's all right. Okay, I still have to st stick to our protocols here. First thing I do is put some gloves on. That's to keep from spreading diseases back and forth from animal to cow. Strip cup, dip cup. I'm using. Looks good to me, now we're gonna do the dip cup. Well, I hate to admit it, but an animal is way easier to work with than our uh, milking the goats ever was. This might be a treat for me to actually milk an animal that likes being milked. Especially with a machine that does the job for you. I might get used to this machine. Ladybug has finished eating. I was slow, so I'm gonna give her a little bit more to keep her happy. A little bit more food, a little more treats. There you go, girl. She always spills a lot, so the fact that there's a little extra isn't a big deal. So this is going pretty well. Meanwhile, a little bit of chaos in the rest of the barn. Luna's in here, Kathy's down there. Yeah, a lot going on here. But that's okay, this machine has definitely made this stepping in thing much easier. Kay said do the machine, I was doubtful if I was gonna be able to handle it, but so far so good. Y'all done? Wondering what's taking so long. I think we're pretty much done. The back ones are all milked out, the front ones are starting to slow down, and Ladybug's looking at me like, hey buddy, what's taking you? We're done here. So, we're gonna turn off the suction, and uh, give it a second to come down. I'll take this off. Oh yeah, that is definitely full of milk. I'm gonna let Ladybug out, open the door here, and let everybody go. Good girl, back it up. Okay, I gotta be honest, I have uh, hand milked before, and uh, filled in for K hand milking. 
and it was by no means as easy as machine milking stepping in. It was a little intimidating at first having never done it, but uh, that was great. So I'm gonna give two thumbs up to training your cow to a machine. Longtime fans may remember way, way back, lifetimes ago, back in Connecticut, this happened, Kay got sick. Let's go girls, hop up. Come on girls, let's go back. Kay got sick and uh, I had to milk for her. Come on girls, let's go. And I had hand milk and it was, <laughs> If you never milk, never hand milk, even if you've done it before, and I at the time had never done it, it's, uh, it's hard work. And your hands get real tired real fast, and you wind up not getting much out of the cow, which that's bad in itself, you know? You wanna make sure you clean that cow out. Come on, girls! A pop up! Let's go! Come on, girls! Here, cow, cow, cow! Come on, girls! A pop up! They're not following me. I wonder if I'm supposed to bring hay out for them. <laughs> See, little things like this. It does help to know, have both people on the homestead know all the steps. Fortunately, I've watched Kay do this enough times. I filmed her do it enough times. Watch out, ladybug, hop, hop. Come on, girl, hop, hop. But this wasn't too challenging. Okay. They got water, they got food. You know, if you hand milk the cow and you're not as good as the normal milker, she doesn't let, you don't get enough out, that can cause issues and problems. Uh, so having the machine, especially now, because in a month's time we'll have two cows in milk, really, really a nice thing. I gotta say, it's, uh, this was much easier to do than hand milking. Now it'll be interesting to see if I actually got as much as Kay usually gets. Plus I gotta go in and take the machine apart and kind of clean it out. I'll be inside, Kay can guide me through it. So now I gotta do the other animal chores. Normally Kay does the cows while I go and do the dogs and all the other stuff. I should have done them first, uh, but I was nervous about the milking and that's all I was thinking about. So now I gotta go do the animal, other animals. Put it in our jars with our strainer. I already know how to do that. I can take my gloves off now because I'm no longer dealing with the cow. Okay, we take a strainer, the same one we used for our goats, and we put a filter into that strainer. And then we have our jar here that we're gonna pour everything into. I think, uh, this stuff I think goes up here I'm gonna put the thing down there with the strainer in it now this guy Let's strain our milk. Okay, there's our first one, almost full. That's a good sign. We got at least a half gallon of milk. Normally the ladybug right now is given a whole gallon. A little 
little more in the back in the first one. But we might need another uh, another guy here. Beautiful. We got over a gallon of milk, and now I'm gonna put that in the freezer to chill. When it comes to cleaning this, there's some parts that you clean, some you don't. The pulsator doesn't get clean because no milk goes through there, so I'm gonna make sure I get Kay's eyes on this before I start cleaning everything and soaking it. Uh, but man, awesome. Got over a gallon of milk from Ladybug, which is what we typically get. It happened quickly, she didn't get fussy. The milk is clean, the milk was easy. Uh, I gotta say, man, this I can't say enough good things about using the milking machine. And uh, a lot of people have talked about how the time doesn't really work out if you, if you milk a cow by hand versus with the machine. It takes a lot longer to clean and everything. You're better off just hand milking. And that, I think, is pretty true. Kay actually agrees with that. But nice to be able to have this as an option if you're not the regular milker. Plus, in just a month, we're going to have a second cow in milk. And at that point, the milking machine makes a lot of sense. So two thumbs up on our milking tonight. And... Uh, yeah, I'm thrilled with this. I, that went way smoother than I was expecting, so. Woo!